Coach, how hard would you say you, you tried to uh, trade up in the first round uh, today in particular? We, we were active. Um, you know, to get into the first round, it's not that easy to do without, you know, pledging substantial assets. Um, so to some degree, you know, it was a challenge to look for something that would be fair to do. Um, but uh, for the last week or two, you know, we think we covered and canvassed the league and you know, got a feel for what the opportunities there were for us to move into the first round. And you know, not only that, you know, look to improve the team via trade. You know, you're not just limited to doing the draft right now. You can continue to look at opportunities via trade too. And that's going to continue till July 1st. And then post July 1st, you could start talking again, but there's a moratorium period. So, you know, this is really the beginning phase of when teams look to improve their team. Phase one, so to speak. Could you have made a deal today? Absolutely. Might not have been a good deal, <laughs> but we could have made it. I could have. We could have made a deal every day for the last three weeks. Any of them revolve around Pau Gasol? I, I wouldn't share, you know, with you, you know, who we spoke about. But in all honesty, you know, our, our assets are limited. You know, our team. You know, we have a bunch of free agents, and you know, we have one player who's pretty good who has a no trade clause. So you know, he wasn't you know, available. So that just leaves a limited number of options, you know, to, you know, look at and, um, you know, try to figure out if there's a way to improve your team. And that's, you know, the part of the business that that's um, probably uncomfortable for our players. But I think they've gotten used to it by now. You know, you, that kind of <clears throat> dynamic, you've been going through it ever since last, like December 4th or whatever it was when you guys made that, ill-fated trade and the speculations continued. Powell was going here today, there today, China, Moscow, wherever else he was going later in the day. I mean, how do you deal with that and how do you keep a player from losing his mind, you know, wondering where he's going to be? Do you even do deal with it? Well, it's a different environment today. <clears throat> you know, another team calls me about a player on our team and they're just... I don't have to call a team and say, would you do this? The teams can call me and say, Mitch, would you consider this? I have to answer the question. You know, let me think about it or no. And um, in this day and age, you know, with, you know, all the media opportunities, you know, within sometimes hours, you know, the fact that two teams discuss the player is reported. And it never really used to be that way. It's a credit to the investigative reporting, you know, that that's – that you guys, to some degree, are involved in, and you know, just the world we live in. You know, that's not going to change. So I think our players understand that, and that's a part of you know what you you know get paid as a professional to endure. Mitch, with, with such a limited uh, uh, budget for uh, free agents, is a trade still the, the main way to shake up this team? I, I think you re you referred to. Uh, maybe hitting a home run in your closing remarks after the season ended. Is that still the mindset? Can you remind me what I said? I think it was something like, you know, we'll, we'll try to hit a home run or something to that effect. Well, we always try to hit a home run. Right. I probably did say that. <laughs> and, you know, even though free agency is 48 hours away, that's uh, with a limited budget there. I mean, the way we'll, we'll try to hit a home run. Uh, but a lot of the things we spoke about in the last 10 minutes, you know, like I said, this, the beginning, you know, leading to the draft and the draft itself is the beginning of the offseason. And, um, you know, you, you can continue to uh, pursue and, and examine trade opportunities for the next two days. And then beginning July 1st, you can continue to do that and also entertain free agents. Uh, so it's an exciting time, you know, and a busy time for us. I know we have great fan interest that are watching closely. Uh, so hopefully we could, you know, do something good. And we always try to hit a home run.